Am I the asshole? For wanting my sister to pay me back because my nephew lost my electric scooter? Last year I bought an Emove Cruiser electric scooter which I've since modified to add more speed, a new handlebar and some other mods. The scooter itself was not cheap, at $1,500, plus mods puts it over $2,000. I have a sister and a nephew who I always let house sit for me while I'm out of town on business. I have pets and plants that I need taken care of and they always welcome a change of scenery. So I had to go on a business trip last month for a week and let them house sit. My nephew has always asked me about my scooter and I told him that it isn't for kids because it's extremely fast and I've expressly forbidden him from riding it multiple times. His mother knows about this as well. Well, I come back from my trip and my sister tells me that I'm going to be mad, but my nephew took my scooter out, left it unattended and had it stolen. I was fucking pissed and asked them to leave. I told them they'd have to replace it and my sister pleaded with me, they couldn't afford it, it was a mistake and that he could do just do chores around my house to pay me back. I told her that it doesn't replace my scooter. She said that any money would have to come from their vacation fund. I said, tough shit. Our parents have gotten involved and said that I'm taking it too far. They agree that my nephew should be punished and I should be paid back, but to take away their family vacation is just cruel and petty. They suggested a payment plan. I told them, hell no, that I use my scooter to commute to work often and that I wanted it back immediately. Furthermore, he was warned not to ride it since it's dangerous. Now that I've started to calm down here a little, I wonder if I'm being in a hole here by being so demanding and potentially punishing everyone else for my nephew's mistake. Not the asshole. Your sister should pay you. Your parents can pay money into your sister's vacation budget. Your sister can make payments back to your parents. Solved. Not the asshole. Repaying you comes before a vacation. You need it to commute to work. Their neglect caused it to be stolen so they need to face the consequences, especially since it was expressly forbidden that he ride it. Not the asshole. She is responsible for her child when he breaks or loses someone else's property. His consequence is they don't get as big a vacation this year. That's actually a good punishment for him. She said that any money would have to come from their vacation fund. If replacing the scooter meant they'd have to use money reserved for basic necessities rent or mortgage food utilities, then I'd say you may want to reconsider the payment plan option. But if they're upset because they can't take a vacation this year because of this, then tough shit. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is 100 your sister's fault. She's responsible. This is an expensive enough item to expect repayment, not to mention it is your way to commute to work. Not the asshole. Family vacation is luxury. They can skip a year to teach their kid a lesson and to learn a lesson of their own have an insurance. Even though the insurance possibly wouldn't pay in this situation because the kid isn't tea that young anymore. It's not like they have to cut their food or everyday life to pay you. Not the asshole everyone involved knew this was off limits. An immediate replacement is needed. They are tagging the money as vacation. Money is money not your issue how they perceive where it comes from. Wrong risky behavior without consequences leads to it happening again. You can submit a claim to your home insurance. But it may jack your rate. Folks who work insurance may weigh in or consider our insurance, our insurance professional. Not the asshole. Screw their vacation if they can't even make their kid to listen to simple instructions, for example don't touch my scooter. Not the asshole. X200B. 13 years old is old enough to accept responsibility for his actions and his mother is just as culpable as his guardian. Your nephew needs to learn to respect other people's belongings, and although it sucks to lose their vacation, expensive lessons are often the most impactful. I don't understand the YT votes. I knew better than to steal other people's vehicles at the age of 13. 
Your sister is an asshole for enabling your nephew to steal your property, and she has a lot of gall to suggest paying back in chores. Actions have consequences. They are lucky you didn't call the cops. They are lucky that their son wasn't injured. And also payment plans are bullshit. They will not pay you back. They can skip vacation for a year. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I bet this isn't the first time ever that nephew took it out either. Sister probably covered for him until it was stolen and she couldn't hide it from you. Not the asshole. Technically he stole it. You forbid him from using it. His mother didn't check on him and now the scooter is gone. Stolen again but from a stranger. It is expensive and as a 13 year old he should know better. I wouldn't care about them dipping in the vacation fund. They should pay you back right away. Not the asshole. They owe you $2,000 or the exact same scooter with all the same mods. This isn't that hard. Sister needs to pay for it and nephew can work for her she's culpable, as well. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You're holding them accountable, and it's completely justified. To hell with their vacation, they can learn common decency in the meantime. Not the asshole so your nephew stole your electric scooter, only to have it stolen from him and you feel like the ah. Not the asshole. Have them finance it directly at the point of purchase if they want a payment plan. You aren't a bank and they'll stop making payments to you and just expect you to deal with it. Lol let him do chores around your sister's house to repay for their vacation fund after they get you a new scooter. Not the asshole. Not the asshole maybe they can put their holiday on a payment plan. A holiday is a want, not a need. Tough luck their kid was irresponsible with something they couldn't afford to replace easily. Maybe should have instilled in the kid not to touch others property. Not the asshole. You aren't talking about a little damage that leaves it still usable. It's gone. You need it for the purposes you use it for. Consequently, they need to replace it immediately. If that means no vacation for the brat, that seems like a fair punishment on top of the required restitution of paying for the new scooter. Not the asshole. He stole your scooter was careless with it. Paying you back especially if it means he misses his vacation might teach him a necessary lesson. I guess that your sister will lose her vacation, too. Maybe that will teach her something about the consequences of poor parenting. Not the asshole. Nephew can go mow lawns or some shit to replace what comes out of the vacation fund. Your sister knowingly let him take your scooter meaning this is entirely on her. So they maybe don't get to take a vacation anytime soon, sounds like an entirely preventable personal problem to me. I would also rub in the fact that she's very lucky all she has to do is cough up two grand. She doesn't have to pay medical or legal bills because she was unable to tell her son no. Not the asshole. They were told not to mess with it. The kid didn't listen and now they need to make it right. Not the asshole. Kid's a thief, I wouldn't want him doing chores in my house either. You also need to report your scooter stolen. Not the asshole and where was your sister when your nephew took the scooter out?